Astronaut Scott Kelly, back from an amazing year in space, an amazing landing. Scott, welcome home. Describe uh, the first impressions you had when the hatch was open, you smelled that cold, crisp air, and uh, your first thoughts back on Earth after a year. Um, the cold air was amazing, for, you know, fresh air is, you, you know, the air, um, I don't mean to say it's not fresh on the space station, but it's, uh, there's nothing like, you know, new cold air coming into the, uh, the capsule, and um, the, the actual burning smell of the capsule takes a little, or smells a little bit like some kind of, uh, you know, fragrance, it's kind of an odd smell, and I actually thought it was the vegetation initially, so that was, you know, different, I guess. You vowed before you launched a year ago to avoid the calendar, to stop looking at the clock, to mark the passage of time, but it must have been an overwhelming feeling of relief when you got outside <laughs> and your mission was out of end. Yeah, I, you know, I think I did a pretty good job of that. Um, I wouldn't say it was a relief. Um, it was, uh, you know, leaving the space station was was uh, bittersweet. You know, I've been there a long time, so I looked forward to to leaving, but at the same time, you know, it's a magnificent place and I'm going to miss it. So, uh, you know, mixed emotions, I guess. You talked a lot during the mission about uh, missing people back on Earth. So when the crowd was around you outside the capsule, what did you think with all that adoration being heaped upon you and your crew? I, I thought it was great to see all, you know, all those people there, especially you recognize a lot of the people, friends, you know, the, and people that you've worked with, uh, you know, in the U.S. and and in, the, in Russia uh, for, in some cases, decades. So it was great to see everybody. You said in the change of command ceremony the other day, you looked at Misha and said, we did it. Did the enormity of what you really have accomplished here, a, a year in space, has it washed over you at all? Have you had two seconds to think about it? Well, you know, when I said that, I was trying to make a point, make a point and I said, you know, we, we have been saying to each other, you know, we, we did it, but it's really not about us. I mean, there's a lot of, you know, thousands of people that go into this, and, you know, their jobs are just as important because it's kind of like a link in a, in a chain. If, if you, you know, break one of them, the chain breaks. So everyone's important in doing something um, this complicated. So um, it's great doing it with him, though. He's a great guy. The mission's over. The science begins now. And it was all really about uh, all the biomedical work to try to uh, begin the journey to Mars, learn more about the ability to stay in space for a year or more. Uh, how do you feel, and, and looking back on it, how difficult was this year aboard the station? The year's a long time, you know. I, uh, you know, I felt like I had been up there my whole life, you know, after about the first six months, which is like the normal increment. The normal increment is about six months, and that's a long time, so a year's really, really long. But uh, I'm definitely encouraged on our ability to go even longer. I mean, I kind of, you know, even though I look forward to coming home and there's things that I miss, I felt like if if it was for the right reason, I clearly could have stayed, you know, however long it took. Okay. okay. And finally, Scott, uh, looking back, uh, if you had to sit down right now and write an account of the most significant, significant accomplishment of your year in space that you spent with Mikhail Kornienko, what do you think it would be, and what do you think the most lasting impact will be of this odyssey? You know, I, I think, um, you know, expanding our envelope and our ability to operate in space is something that's going to take us further from this planet. Um, I believe that that is uh, doing that, exploring and, you know, developing technology to, to do so is very important to to our uh, to our economy, to our our uh, way of life. So, I think you know Misha and I were were a small part in in doing that, and uh, and I hope we continue to do it. And I think we will. And you know, by going to Mars one day, it'll make uh, make things better here on Earth. So, I'm happy to be a part of that. Mikhail Kornienko back home on Earth after a year in space. Uh, Misha, congratulations on your mission. What were your first impressions when uh, you left the Soyuz capsule and saw all of the people around you and smelled fresh air? 
Михаил Корниенко, поздравляю с возвращением домой после годового полета. Скажите, пожалуйста, какие у вас были первые впечатления после того, что как вас извлекли из капсулы «Союз», вы увидели всех людей, которые находились рядом с ней, и какие первые впечатления? Ну, первое впечатление – это воздух, когда открывается люк, это воздух земли. Я хотел весь мой полет, наверное, как мой коллега Скотт, я хотел увидеть землю, обнять землю, я почувствовал воздух земли. Это незабываемое ощущение. First uh, feeling, of course, and first impression is the air back on Earth during the entire flight. Just like Scott, I wanted to see Earth and I wanted to smell that fresh air. This is an unforgettable feeling. Я увидел вокруг себя очень много друзей и американских друзей, и российских, и казахстанских. И, конечно, это impressive, как сказать, да? Это меня очень поддержал. Они сделали все для того, чтобы мы выполнили эту миссию. И я надеюсь, что мы ее выполнили достойно. And I was very happy to see so many friends around, uh, Russian friends, US friends, Kazakh friends, and it was very impressive for me. They did everything for our mission to be successful, and I hope that we did it successfully. And finally, Misha, uh, this uh, a year in space, as Scott has mentioned, a very, very long time, but you pulled off an incredible accomplishment here. Uh, what would you consider to be the most significant accomplishment of this record-breaking mission aboard the International Space Station? И, конечно, еще раз, Михаил, годовой полет это очень серьезное достижение, как об этом уже говорил Скат. Это достижение серьезное, но как вы считаете, что самое важное вам удалось достичь на борту Международной космической станции в рамках этого годового полета? Мы выполнили очень много научных экспериментов, выполнили их целиком, полностью. Ни один эксперимент не был отменен или как-то завален, что ли. Вот. И я надеюсь, что все результаты, они, конечно, будут еще обрабатываться на Земле дальше. И вот этот результат, который получат ученые вследствие нашего полета, конечно, он должен оправдать этот годовой полет. Мы проводили много научных экспериментов, успешно. Мы не успели, как я знаю. И мы очень рады об этом. И результаты этих научных экспериментов будут продолжать быть анализированы здесь. И я надеюсь и думаю, что это наш основной достижение.